culture to lifestyle, it's time for another refreshing break in your day. Soda City Live starts right now. Welcome back to Soda City Live. Is your table ready for Thanksgiving? I don't mean just for the food, but the overall presentation. Jennifer Martin with Prefix Parties joins us today to talk about ways we can transform our existing dining room spaces using our color schemes that we already have for a beautiful and cost efficient tablescape. And of course, we want to wow those guests as well. Jennifer is so glad to have you back. Yeah, it's great to be back. Thank it's you for having me. Such a pleasure. Now, I will say this, the, the outfits we're wearing, the color scheme that we have on, it, mine wasn't planned. I know hers was. Yes, <laughs> it was, you know, I think it was that ESP. Yes. You know, that's what we have. Absolutely. Um, and so <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about the, this is what we're assuming the current tablescape looks like. Yes, absolutely. And so this design was inspired by my own dining room. It's um, part of Prefix Party um, collection. It is called Blue Raspberry Cheesecake, just in time for Thanksgiving. And um, so it incorporates various shades of blue. And sometimes you don't want to have to change up your entire decor for the holiday season. Right. So this is a good transitional tone. If you know anything about me, I don't really have to have traditional colors yeah. for Thanksgiving, like the oranges and the browns. Um, so this is a good transitional scheme that'll take you into Thanksgiving with some fall elements and then even into winter. This can be yeah, like a winter wonderland. Absolutely. Um, as well. It, that's what it's given. I mean, all yeah. we got to do is throw some snowflakes on here. Exactly. You know, take out the pumpkins, yes. throw on the snowflakes. Yeah. And that's what these designs are really meant to do for you to, to adapt them for anything. Christmas, whatever you want to adapt them for. It's a good foundational design um, that has your core elements that you need for a beautiful, um, some beautiful decor. So, awesome. Well, how do we, yeah. how do we fall this? Let's fall <laughs> it up, right? So we have some pumpkins we have um, a nice runner all of this was on the clearance rack um, from Hobby Lobby 75% off oh wow that's a yes 75% off and so what I'm gonna do is just gonna move some of these things over to make room for our little fall enhancements and um, once you have the foundation it's really easy to just customize it based off of any items you may have in your home oh, this is beautiful or yeah, this was one of the 75% off items at Hobby Lobby. So you can just place this right on top here. Yeah, you can set it right there. And then just finagle it how you want. Actually, matter of fact, I think I want this kind of behind. Yeah, just like that. So perfect. more of the centerpiece. Now let me ask you this while you're setting this up. How mm -hmm. do you choose these items? I know you say a majority of these items come from clearance. Yeah. How do, what, how do you choose what, what items to, to purchase? To purchase, yeah. So base it off of the color scheme that you're mm -hmm. going for. And so I went into the store. I was like, you know what? I need blue. I need silver. So that made it super easy because, you know, now this pumpkin, for example, has like different shades of silver right. in it. Um, I have these blue pumpkins here. And so if you base it off of, you know, color schemes and not so much like really right. big themes, like, okay, because if we were to say, okay, we want a Thanksgiving theme, we would have been all orange over and all yeah. over the place. But yeah. you know what? We want to, you know, create a specific color scheme. And so, you know, let's just um, go with blue. And then so when you go down the aisle, you can just kind of look for things that are within that particular color scheme. Yeah. And it makes it super easy and takes some of the guesswork out. Right. And you're going um, in there with a plan. So you're not yes. just going in there just grabbing things just because it's on sale exactly. because that's me. <laughs> so you're like, hey, I know what color I'm going for, what yeah. colors rather that I'm going for. I'm just grabbing it. And the one thing exactly. I'll say as you're setting things up here that I really love, I love this white. It gives a really clean canvas. Oh, yeah. And then my, like, it's a centerpiece. So, like, my eyes are naturally really going and gravitating to the center here. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what you want to do. You want to have, like, one, um, something that really draws your attention. Um, so, here in this case, there's a centerpiece that has, you know, the fall elements. Um, there's the white that, you know, you can pretty much use for um, any occasion because it's a nice color. It's a nice, clean color and it goes with anything and you can always just add a pop of color like in this case we're adding blue to it and um, that'll help kind of um, add a little bit more um, personality to everything awesome and I could just do you like to put the candles like close together yeah so maybe the flower in the middle okay and I have um there we go 
flower in the middle and then one candle behind and two on either side just like beautiful. that beautiful now i want to talk a little bit about the mood board for this as well yeah. while we are talking about the blue raspberry cheesecake yes, is that right that's it <laughs> okay. blue raspberry cheesecake so that is um what i call um, a prefix decor menu, which is a shoppable mood board. So you would go um, download the mood board and in the mood board, there will be links to where you can purchase everything. So it's already, you don't have to guess like, okay, I like that look, but you know, where, where do I get the yeah. flowers? Where do I get the candles? Yeah. So everything is already there for you. And so whether you're throwing a birthday party, a bridal shower, hey, you know what? This is a nice foundational look. It, for a baby shower, you know, let me just add a teddy bear, okay. um, and you know, as the centerpiece to make it there. And, and so it's just meant to take the guesswork out of it and make it a little bit easier, and make it a little bit easier on your pockets as well, because yes. we already know inflation has the food high. So yes. at least the decor can be a little bit more reasonable. Exactly. And one thing I do want to ask you: Do you create like a menu for your guests whenever you cook, like, and then just like place the menu in the yes. middle? Yes. Okay. You can customize with menu cards, and I believe in the design. I'm not quite sure, but um, usually. I do include a template for the menu cards where you can just print it out on your own and um, have that for the guests as well. All right, perfect. Yeah. And I want to run through this one more time just yes. so that we make sure everybody has like the, 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 the template for what a tablescape should look like. So mm -hmm. we have a nice foundational uh, tablecloth, yep. then you have a runner, and you have this beautiful, what we are considering a vine it's today. A vine. It's mm -hmm. a vine. It's a vine. And and it could be like any of those long roped flower, you know, anything like the ivies and all that. Yeah. Um, and then some candles, a few other little seasonal items, and then you have yourself your own prefix party at home. Exactly. <laughs> and then also, top of the year, I am going to be launching a whole new collection of shoppable mood boards, oh, different perfect. color schemes. So be sure to follow prefix pick, prefix picks on Instagram um, to be the first to hear about when they launch. Perfect. Jennifer, yeah. thank you so much for joining us and thank showing you. us how we can wow our guests this holiday. We'll be sure again to have these details on our website, SodaCityLive.com. Be sure to stick with us. We have much more coming up after this. And up next on Soda City Live, fitness guru James Patrick, he's showing